I'm Joel Brock and welcome to Talk Fishing. Today it's the first day of March and we should start seeing some spring chinook show up in the lower rivers at any time now. I have a couple of skeins of eggs and I'm going to cure them up and get them ready for spring chinook fishing. So I'm going to go ahead and give away one of my secrets and show how to do that. This is a list of items that we're going to need to cure up these steelhead eggs for chinook fishing. We need a roll of paper towels to clean up the mess. We need a jar that seals up nice and tight, a good pair of scissors, a spoon or something to measure with. I like to use a sprinkle jar. And here's the main ingredient, quick cure, fluorescent red. That works great. I do enhance it with some uh, Procure Slamola powder. And also, we will be putting some uh, pure anise extract into the bottom of the jar. Okay, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is measure out about four tablespoons of uh, the Quick Cure fluorescent red powder into the sprinkle bottle. One, two, three, and four. That should be plenty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out a half a tablespoon full of this Slamola powder and put it in the same jar. That's about a half a tablespoon right there. Now just drop it right in the same jar. Go ahead and put the lid on this and get that out of the way. And believe it or not, that's about all there is to the cure other than the anise oil going into the, going into the jar. I'm just going to shake it up. Just like that. Make sure it's, make sure it's uh, the slamola and the uh, quick cure is mixed up real nicely. That's about all there is to that. Now we have our mix right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this skein of eggs and let's cut it up into bait sized pieces. It's a lot easier to cure that way and when you're out on the river it's just a lot easier to bait up, you know, to rebait your hook if the baits are already pre-cut. I'm actually cutting these in pretty good sized chunks and I'm kind of spreading them around, around out on the paper towel here. Now that I have the bait cut up into pretty good sized chunks, all the size of a silver dollar, 50 cent piece maybe, I'm going to go ahead and leave them at that size for now. And the reason I like to leave them to this size now is I can always cut them again on the river. Um, if the water happens to be a little dirty and I need a little bigger bait, you know, they're already cut. If the water is cleaner and clearer and we want to use a smaller bait, we can cut these in half real easy. Then all we're going to do is we're just going to sprinkle this right on top of the bait, just like that. Then all I do is I roll these over, just like that. And just make sure you, make sure you put quite a bit of this stuff on it. You know, you don't have to be shy. It's, uh, you don't want to completely cover them uh, with the with the cure. The next thing we do, the jar. This extract we're going to pour into the bottom of the jar. There's about a there's about a cap full left in this jar, so this is the end of that one. Okay, get that out of the way. Then all I do then is I take these eggs and I just put them in a jar. Just like that. And I just drop them right in the jar. Now I chose a jar of this size on purpose. We want, we want lots of room in this jar for these eggs to roll around like this as, we, uh, as the cure starts soaking through the eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. And I put it on fairly snug because we don't want this juice that's going to come out of these eggs to leak in your refrigerator. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in my refrigerator and I'm going to let it sit for about 30 minutes. When I put it in the refrigerator, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator upside down like this. Then after another 30 minutes, I'm going to come out and I'm going to roll these eggs over like that. And I'm going to let it sit for another 30 minutes. And I'm going to do this for like two hours. I'm just going to continue to roll this bait like this. It's been about 30 minutes now, and I've pulled those eggs out of the refrigerator, 
And this is pretty much what they're looking like. Now, as I said earlier, every 30 minutes for two hours, I'm just going to keep rotating them like this. I'm going to set them right back in the refrigerator, just like this. And uh, again, and another 30 minutes, I'm going to roll them over. In another 30 minutes, I'll roll them back over like this. And by tomorrow morning, this will be some great bait. So I think you'll be happy with this cure. I know I have been for many years. So good luck, happy fishing, and tight lines to all.